with complex numbers. Not all equations have a real number solution. In some cases, the solution ends up with the square root of a negative number. If this happens, the solution is an imaginary unit called i. i is defined as i equals the square root of negative 1, shown here. Next is complex numbers. A complex number in standard form has two parts. One number is the real part, while the other number is the imaginary part. When graphing a complex number, take 4 minus 2i, for example, Move right four spaces and down two spaces. When adding or subtracting complex numbers, add or subtract the like terms. For example, 6 plus 3i minus 4 minus i. Distribute the subtraction sign. Add 6 and negative 4 and the 3i and i, and you end up with 2 plus 4i. Every complex number has a conjugate. If you have a plus bi, then the conjugate of this complex number would be a minus bi. The conjugate makes it easier to work with i when solving a math problem. For example, 6 plus 4i over 2 plus i. Multiply both top and bottom by 2 minus i, which is the conjugate of 2 plus i. Then multiply using the FOIL method, and you will get 12 minus 6i plus 8i minus 4i squared over 4 plus 2i minus 2i minus i squared. Then simplify and you end up with 12 plus 2i minus 4 times negative 1 over 4 minus negative 1. Simplify some more and you get 16 plus 2i over 5. You can break that into 16 over 5 plus 2i over 5. Note that i squared is negative 1. Up next is finding the absolute value of a complex number. If z equals a plus bi, then the absolute value of z equals the square root of a squared plus b squared. Remember this formula, and you will be fine. Oh, man, Bill, I'm doing my homework, and I just don't get it. Can you help me out? Sure, Joey. What's the problem? x squared equals negative 28. Okay, so first take the square root of each side. Then you get x equals root negative 28. Then separate the root negative 28 into root negative 4 and root 7. Um, then take the i out of root negative 4. Then you'll end up with x equals i root 4 times root 7. Then you'll end up, take, take the square root of 4, then you'll end up with x equals plus or minus 2i. Oh, okay, thanks. I get it now. No problem, Joey. Hey, Bill, this is Laura. I'm really confused on this homework assignment. Can you help me? All right, Laura. What do you need help with? Okay, the problem is 9 plus 8i plus 8 minus 9i. All you have to, do. to do that, all you need to do is combine like terms. When you do this, you end up with 17 minus i. Hey, Bill, it's Samantha. I need help with this problem. What problem is it? Negative i times 4 minus 8i. Okay, so what you're going to do is distribute the negative i to all the terms. You'll, you'll end up with negative 4i plus 8i squared. Then you simplify i squared and note that i squared is negative 1. Then you'll end up with negative 4i plus 8 times negative 1. Your final result will be negative 4i minus 8. Hey, Bill, it's Lara again. I really need help with this math problem. Well, aren't you annoying? What's the problem? Negative 3 plus 10i. I really need to find the absolute value. All right. To find the absolute value of negative 3 plus 10i, you'll use the equation z equals root a squared plus b squared. So when you plug it in, you'll get absolute value of z equals root negative 3 squared plus 10 squared. You simplify and you end up with absolute value of z equals root 109. Hey Bill, it's Samantha again. I need help with another problem. Okay, what is it? Negative 8 minus 3 plus 2i minus 9 minus 4i. To solve this problem, all you need to do is distribute the negative signs. Once you do this, you'll end up with negative 8 plus, in parentheses, negative 3 minus 2i, 
plus, in parentheses, negative 9 plus 4i. Once you combine like terms, you end up with negative 20 plus. Thanks for watching! Algebra!